Okay, I'm now gonna show you um, what my annotations would look like um, while I read it the second time, okay? This article was written in Red Bank, New Jersey. Ready to chomp on a sweet, a crunchy sweet churro from Spain. Circle churro, maybe I didn't know what that meant. Or sample some spicy corn from Mexico. Or dig into a tasty tostada from Guatemala. I'm going to underline those countries because I feel like those might be important. Spain, Mexico, and Guatemala. What do they have in common? You might already feast on these foods all year long, but Hispanic Heritage Month is the perfect time to pile up your plate. Hispanic Heritage Month begins every year on September 15th. It runs through October 15th. It's a time to celebrate Hispanic culture. In what way? Well, that's a question. With parades and parties, with festivals and other fun events, people wear colorful costumes, they dance to traditional music, they raise flags from around the world, and of course, they eat delicious foods. I'm going to put an exclamation point because I like food. But Hispanic Heritage Month is more than just food and fun. It's a time to remember Hispanic history. It's a time to honor Hispanic Americans. Hispanic Americans have made many contributions. I didn't know what that was. I would circle it to the U.S. And it's time to celebrate that. There are about 60 million Hispanic Americans in the U.S. Wow. I'm an exclamation point there. That's a lot. Their families come from many parts of the world. Many are from Mexico. Many are from Puerto Rico. Many are from Cuba. Some are from Central America. Others are from South America. But wherever they're from, there's one thing they share. What's that? They can call America home. Okay? So that's what my annotations would have looked like. Again, I underlined important sentences or phrases. I circled words I wasn't sure of. I put a question mark whenever I had a question or something made me wonder. And exclamation points. I'm also going to look at this picture. I'm going to think to myself, why did the author include this? Why did he put um, this picture of, it looks like a parade with dancers, and the caption says, festivals and parades celebrate Hispanic culture. Why do I think the author included that? Um, to me, probably so I could actually see, so I would understand what it looks like. I could also see some of the culture and traditions of the Hispanic culture, um, throwing in a, a, a picture of that uh, really helps the reader understand what the author is talking about.